today I went to Indranagar and I asked Meena, Meena, how is your nephew? And she said, oh, he's still in the ICU. What actually is the problem? She said, constipation. The child was suffering from constipation from childhood. And it continued, now how old is the child? She said, six years. Six years constipation. Uh, what actually happened? Oh, he was crying, he couldn't pass his urine, couldn't pass his stool, so he fell down from the bed. We took him to the hospital. They said his critical condition, they cut open his stomach, surgery is still in the ICU. What to do about it? I said, uh, it's a simple fact. Constipation is not a big problem. That from childhood, we have to train the children to drink water. And nowadays, children do not sweat. You have to sweat, you have to do your exercises. A simple thing, when I was in Japan, Japanese have got a lot of constipation problem like the Westerners. Even Japanese scientists also find, uh, found out not only that, but constipation, they are frightened about the stools stinking a lot because a lot of non veg food has been taken. Not about non veg food also, even vegetarians stinks because if the body is not been cleansed. So I told uh, some of my Japanese friends, and uh, what, what, what did I tell them? I said, just before you go to sleep, take two, three slices of ripe papaya. And the next day they all came and told me. <laughs> Some were keeping my picture and doing uh, puja. They all were very happy that it's all, the whole stomach has been cleaned just on ripe papaya. Chepaka is also good, that is Goa. But papaya, it worked out very well. When I was in London practicing, at that time I met one chartered accountant doctor who was very much interested in my yoga. So the same constipation, I didn't say much. I only told him to take papaya. But basically, while you're eating food, I told Meena, see, from the childhood, this constipation can continue as a genetic problem in the future by creating, you're blocking the pipelines. So what you must do is, from the childhood, you must train the children that while you're eating the food, they must chew and eat the food. And chewing while eating food, they should not take water at all. Half an hour before, one hour. No, no, that is not possible. At all because everybody is carrying a Coca-Cola um, juice, varieties of juice next to them. But if you look into the Japanese customs and Chinese customs, instead of this cold juice, they keep soups hot. Because if there is, especially in, the, in India, all the food is made out of a lot of oil. And if there is oil, it's better not to take cold water. You take hot water. If you say hot water, nobody likes it. So I told uh, Meena, make soup. Uh, if you say rasam, people might not understand rasam. So you make rasam and you say it is soup. So along with the food, they can take the uh, rasam. So that uh, doesn't create problem. And the third one is, you, they must take fruits. Before the meals and not after the meals. Constipation problems can be avoided. This is part one. I'll come back to you after part two tomorrow. Thank you.